ECDL Advanced Excel Lesson 5 Conditional Formatting As well as applying formatting to certain cells, it's possible to apply different formatting to cells depending on the values within those cells. Selected cells can be compared to a value or the results of a formula to decide which format should be used. This is called conditional formatting. Multiple conditions can be used to determine the formatting for the same cell. So for example, a cell could be coloured red if it's below a certain value, and blue if it's greater than another value. Open the workbook retail if it's not already open, and highlight the turnover figures. That's the range B4 to M4. With the Home tab displayed, if we go to the Styles group, select Conditional Formatting. Select New Rule. The New Formatting Rule dialog box is displayed. From the Select a Rule Type box, click on Format Only Cells that Contain. In the drop down Criteria box, that's this one here, Select less than or equal to. And in the next box, enter the value 19,000. As an aside, if we were entering a formula in the value box, remember all formulas must start with an equals sign. Click the Format button and select the font colour red. Then click OK, and then OK again to apply the rule. To add another condition to the same range, click the conditional formatting icon again, and select New Rule. Select Format Only Cells That Contain again. Now select greater than, and in the next box, 25,000. Format the text to be bold and blue, so format button, bold, and for the colour, blue. Then press OK, and OK again to apply the formatting. And as we can see, the formatting within this range is in accordance with the rules that we created. Highlight the range B14 to M14. And this time we're going to apply conditional formatting. New rule. Format only cells that contain. And this time less than, and now we're going to put in a formula. We're going to put in equals average, and the range is going to be $B$14 to $M$14, and then close the bracket. This time we want to format the range with a yellow cell shading. So the fill to be yellow. Click OK and then OK to apply the formatting. And now we can clearly see those months for which the net profit was less than the average over the year. To remove conditional formatting, Select the range B4 to M4. Click Conditional Formatting. And then select Manage Rules. The current selection has two rules applied to it. To view all the rules, select This Worksheet. If we select the second rule down, cell value is greater than 25,000. And then we can delete the rule. If we click OK, 
all values of over 25,000 should now not be blue or bold. OK, if you experiment with adding and removing conditional formats to highlight results in a way that had not been possible before, please do so now. And when you finish that, please close the workbook without saving. OK, I look forward to seeing you next time.